Hey everybody, Ben McCooley here. I'm at the Mid-City event put on by the Drive Electric Alabama. It's an annual event where everybody brings out, showcases their EVs. Right now, joining me, I have Brad Garland, one of the creators for Fussfold here in Oswald. Go check out their YouTube site. So today's a great way for people that are in North Alabama to learn more about all the different EVs that are available. You can see a lot of different trucks and cars that are here, learn more about where to charge. This is actually stationed at the Mid-City Tesla Superchargers, but there's charges all over the city and more on the way every day. As popularity of EVs grows in North Alabama, we're seeing more EVs on the road, more people need to charge, and more people with questions about how it works. This is one of the highlights of the EV event, the Tesla S Type S Plaid. This car really stood out. Bright red, bright white interior, and it is Tesla's straight performance machine. This car has over a thousand horsepower and over a thousand pound feet of torque. I think it's aggressive looking. For a Tesla, I think it's their best looking model. I thought the wheels were really sharp. Of course, the front end looks sharp. You got the lines in the hood, and there's you can see your Tesla badge. There you see your aggressive looking headlights that I really liked. Getting in on the inside, and it is pure luxury. I thought the seats were really nice. They were comfortable. I like how, I'm not a fan of white seats normally, but I thought these looked really good with the performance pedals. And you have the Model S. There you see the Tesla and the steering wheel, a huge infotainment center that I thought was really sharp. Storage was adequate, nothing great, but I don't think you buy this for storage per se. This car has a zero to 60 time of two seconds and a quarter mile time in like nine seconds or a little over nine seconds. So it is a burner. I thought the infotainment center and the digital display was really sharp. Here is a hack that a lot of EV people will do. You see it goes to the music and the trunk will raise, the windows will lower, the tail, the headlights and tail lights will come on. So I'll just be quiet and let y'all kind of listen. To me, this was definitely one of the sharpest cars there and I hope to get to review it uh, with the owner within the next several weeks. I am sad to say that a few weeks after this video was shot, he uh, someone rear-ended him and totaled it, but he is getting it replaced. And as soon as he does, I plan to review it and I'm gonna put it on the draggy and see if we can't get that two second 60 and that nine second quarter mile. The next car I was able to spend a little bit of time with at this event was the Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan. I thought it was a decent looking sedan. I mean, it's black, so obviously it looks good. I thought the black leather interior looked pretty good. Has a huge infotainment center like most EVs do. I like the cute EQS badging right there. Of course, I do like the front end. I like the huge Mercedes badge there, and I like the way the grill is. But the, one of the things that stood out to me was the wheels. For whatever reason, I really, really liked the wheels on this. I thought they were sharp and made the car really stand out. The interior is what you would expect from a Mercedes. You know, you got your black leather, got your Mercedes emblem on the wheel, steering wheel. I wasn't able to turn it on or turn on the infotainment center. Back seat, you got plenty of room and you got your armrest there. Basically a typical sedan. You do have upgraded sound system. You got your Mercedes Benz there in the door panel that lights up at night. The seats were comfortable and you got the little headrest right there. I mean, overall, I thought it was a good looking sedan, EV sedan. I wish I was able to turn it on so I could see the infotainment center and see the digital display, but I wasn't able to. But yeah, overall, it was a good event. There were many more cars there. I just didn't get the time with them and I hope to go back next year. So special thanks to Hunts Volt and Brad Garland for inviting me and look forward to making more videos with their group in the future. Well, by the time you see this, you won't see it in the area, but go to Hunts Volt, check it out. If you're interested in any EV, they have plenty of members, plenty of information. Go check them out. Yeah, you can learn more online and find out when other events are. There's some throughout the year and of course the big annual one once a year. That's it from here. Have a good one, everyone.